What I got from Milestone are actually the huge network of friends. So wherever I go to uh, Europe, but also outside of Europe, I always um, meet or uh, could catch up with people who went to Milestone. So that's a, an amazing network. And the other thing that I got was basically the preparation for my uh, university years. So all the type of models, the type of education that I received uh, through the programs or the classes are very similar to what I'm experiencing currently at my university. And it wasn't a completely new thing for me to, uh, to do. So I was kind of already prepared of how to interact uh, throughout this much more interactive classes, so problem-based learning systems. And the skill that I learned for from my son, the biggest skill is to achieve things uh, while you're out of your comfort zone. So it's always good to set your standards at a bearable level, but if you want to push yourself, you could push yourself much more than you could imagine. The story of F actually started in ninth grade. I have a very bad joint since I was a kindergartner because I sprained my ankle when I was four and since then I sprained my ankle every year basically. We have a three-floor house and I had to go completely downstairs to change my bandage every time so it, I felt very bad that I had to do this three to five times every day. So I started to think about how this challenge could be solved, how, what are the possible options? And that's when the core idea of F Ashley came into my mind. What if we would use an electronic way to control the temperature for such injuries? And that is when I wrote down the first, the idea about the first prototype of F Ashley. And then the Society of Innovation of Hungary asked me to represent Hungary in the Chinese Adolescent Scientific and Innovation Contest. After five very exhausting days, uh, I got a gold medal. A few months later, we established uh, F Ashley uh, KFT and uh, I was leading that for almost five years. And how Milestone helped me in this way is was very unique because I could thank most of the things to my mentor who was always supporting me. When I got into competitions he um, suggested ideas how to approach also by the mentality of how to stand in front of a lot of people when I gave pitch in like huge pitch competitions. The type of education that I had during my storm was basically preparing me for what I experience now. Currently, I'm a student in University of Maastricht at Biomedical Sciences. The type of education that I experience there is very different from what I experienced during my high school years. So we have various types of educational classes, tutorials where we have to prepare the material for ourselves, lectures, um, demonstrations, workshops, and they all have different purposes and they all um, offer different type of skill sets that we have to acquire. I will do my uh, internship thesis internship at ETH Zurich and it's gonna be about a autoimmune disease. This autoimmune disease is quite new, we don't know a lot about this and we're going to use a microscopy uh, that is only found in ETH Zurich. It is called the Atomic Fluid Microscopy. My future plans are to stay in the Netherlands. However, I would really love to support the healthcare system in Hungary. So I'm planning to help on and stay on this area of uh, supporting hospitals with various projects that I can, because I would really love to support the Hungarian a healthcare ecosystem. But for my studies and for my work, I'm pretty sure that I will be staying in the Netherlands for the next 10 years.